Yeah, I guess something. It was something. No, it's my settings. All right. So here we are. We get started. Ready, ready. Dota two league. Not exactly sure the two names here for uh, both sides. Maybe something I should have checked out. Target but practice. Maybe not off. the most important thing in the world. Is you take a look. Dire Radiant. Two lovely teams here. As the Radiant are the uh, Phantom Assassin, Storm Spirit, Witch Doctor, Silencer, Doom. So Storm over mid. Phantom Assassin in the bottom lane. Then you've got the Witch Doctor who's going to be supporting the Phantom Assassin. Don't Silencer heading bottom as well for a tri lane. And of course, Doom in the off lane, which I do actually like. Doom solo off lane, not too easy to kill uh, once he gets to like level 3, level 4. But early on when, uh, you know, maybe he goes for the Scorched Earth level and that's not exactly much of a save for the Doom. So we'll see how they do, especially up against tri lane. Tri lane of Disruptor, Void, and I guess Quabna is... Now Quab's here to stay because they've got the battle sniper begins. over mid. Okay, that doesn't entirely make Worthy sense to me. Time time is money. Money. I guess give it a shot. Then in the off lane, they've got the Legion. So trialing up against the Legion commander, trialing up against that. this Doom 2 banner in peace. We stay even so far. We'll take a look. So it's just, it's going to be an interesting lane for sure. Um... I don't know how this Queen of Pain is going to fare. I don't know. I would assume the Void is in the carry role. Queen of Pain is, however, got the Blightstone. So, Blightstone, Ironwood Branch. We'll see. Because Void is sticking in and is trying to just last it. Is over mid just a moment. Sniper getting a little bit low, as is this Storm Spirit. We'll keep the Ironwood Branch for Tango. Keep his regen, keep his health all right, and... I'm pretty sure Storm did the same, so... Denied! Just trying to regen here in a lane that Storm may not be able to do too well with if Sniper has a good time. We'll see if the rotations come out. Of course, the Witch Doctor might make this a little bit easier for the Storm, who can be aggressive with a rotation of his own. But uh, Sniper is going to try to keep his distance, of course, and using his range to try and get those last hits, as well as trying to uh, harass up this Storm, which he's not doing just yet he's behind in cs in terms of harassment the storm's taking none of it we see the doom however go into the jungle so you know that is uh raise the dead using these skeletons to try and farm this jungle area by the shrine and that leaves the lane open for the faceless boy is case, at least with the phantom assassin right now who is doing a decent job of having his lane open thanks to augs on the silencer just continuing to push back this legion commander who really can't find much of anything and queen of pain comes over and, and does use that shadow strike on the doom but he doesn't quite care at the moment oh, the tango is regens quite nice and he's able to stay in this jungle and this is an old game so two minute bounty runes do exist it's not your five minute bounty runes. this is a pretty old one from what i recall it's taking me a little bit of time to get to these games in which i do Invisibility. hopefully that's not the case in these next so you gotta remember the patch notes and all that. You gotta remember when these games take place, which is a little bit difficult, so you just kinda try and, I would say, wing it. At least for now. But again, this Legion Commander is still just level 2. I mean, Augs is pretty much keeping pace with the Legion Commander, which is not what you want if you're this side of Dire. And ooh, first blood on the Queen of Pain, who's behind this Tier 1 tower. Not something I really expected. The so Sniper's kind of taking the lead in terms of experience at level 4, really harassing the Storm now, which is exactly what he wants to do. Void up top has an easy lane. At least for now, 16 and 12. Phantom Assassin a little bit of the same, too, over towards bottom. But the Courier dies, and I think that was Queen of Pain getting the Courier around here, and then just dying to the Storm. And I can't draw the map, so. Three plays. They're fun. <laughs> but one nothing early for the Radiant side, and they definitely have a team that can snowball out of control. Talking about the Phantom Assassin, talking about the Storm Spirit, especially as Storm's going into that Kaya Bloodstone, or maybe just goes Bloodstone into Kaya, depending on which way he goes. I mean... He should be able to get some time when this Phantom Assassin does hit level 6, especially with the Doom, too. Because Doom 
you know, you're looking for Inferno Blade as these levels start to catch up to you as he's just in here AFK taking the shots from the creeps. He doesn't want to allow this to get under the tower and miss any possible last hits. And, you know, we'll take a little bit of damage, maybe a little bit wise, I guess. A gift from the temple of the Too yeah, he wants to up this Inferno Blade, make it so... You know, if they do choose to chase with the Scorched Earth, with the Inferno Blade, the chase is on. You get that little bit of that uh, mini sun that comes through, and then the Doom chases with the rest of the team. That's what Dennis has to need. Snare comes out onto this Disruptor. Thunder Strike with the Glimpse. Kinetic Field just keeps him close because he goes for the Inferno Blade, and now the Arcane Curse onto two. We'll take out the Disruptor, the Scorched Earth, keeping alive this Doom. And now, with the Salve, they're looking to chase. Time walk down for another five seconds. Snipe. Silencer doing a lot of damage with the double damage. The time walk available is over mid. Queen of Pain finally comes through and does get that kill into the Silver Surge. So they thought about getting that Faceless Void. A kill over mid. And that's the first kill here for the Dire as these legions in the jungle just taking a lot of damage. You don't want to get caught killing yourself to neutrals. But does have that salve to heal up and stay continuing to farm only still level 2. And just really finding not much of anything. And you take a look at where the Silencer is. He's level 3. The Witch Doctor keeping up with the Legion Commander. Falling heavily behind. Ooh, Doom. He's going to drop over towards the top. The Queen of Pain so gets the kill. And they look over at the Silencer. There's the bat. There's the Thunder Strike from the Disruptor. They get the kill. Two here up top for the Dire. And when you're not having a teammate that's not having a good time, you need to make pressure, win these lanes elsewhere. And that's exactly what they do over towards the top. And these two kills really pushing ahead to space with it. Six minutes in, and still just a touch of a lead here for the Dire. Finally, level three is this Legion Commander. Two in the overwhelming odds. One in to the moment of courage. None of the press attack. Press the attack just yet. Which the press the attack should be nice. I mean, uh, against the the stifling dagger of the Phantom Assassin, you want to take that slow off, which. Uh, you know, we'll do wonders to press the attacks off of this nice one going into the field. Coming around over mid with the smoke right now. Witch Doctor and the Silencer both here. There's the blink forward from the Queen of Pain. A little bit low to be going for this with that Shadow Strike as well as the Sniper Assassination. But from the back, there's the cask and there's the last word onto the Sniper. So Storm will survive. Queen of Pain's going to be the first one to fall. Kinetic Field not locking anybody in. The Glimpse not even going to get the Silencer close. Assassinate again. But this is going to be a kill. Does some more damage then. Enough damage to kill off this silencer. I thought he was fine, but Legion. Get into the jungle. Struggling a little bit. That's level one. 320 damage. Silence are already back up. I can't take a look at that death report, but uh, I thought he was gonna survive. I guess 320 plus whatever uh he's blocking against that. And, uh, yeah, I guess he's dead. I think so. Shadow Strike onto the Doom. Scorched Earth is not level 2, so there's only level 1 Scorched Earth. Shadow Strike doing a lot of damage. Rebo looking, at least for the good. Maybe pulling him back into the Faceless Void as well as the Queen of Pain, but not going to find it. And oops, Storm Spirit again. Just forced all the way back. He is level 6. And then Phantom Assassin is level 7. Wow. Compare that to level 6 of the Faceless Void. So Faceless Void a little bit further back. He's going for the Mask of Madness. Level 7 is the Phantom Assassin going for the Battle Fury. So he's going to sit here and farm as much as he can before that, of course, ends up uh, in the Battle Fury. And probably going to farm continue. You know, usually you see Phantom Assassins get a little bit aggressive come with that level 6 with the Coup de Gras. But there are some Phantom Assassins who are looking more in, you know, a, a Battle Fury. Looking for the farm. Looking for those that second, that third item before fighting. And I kind of like that with the Storm. I like that with the Storm because Storm's not going to be ready to go. Is Void? Just down over top. He's got Time Walk. Why aren't you getting out of there? Scorched Earth is used. He threw the Shockwave a couple times. Used that level 3 Inferno Blade. Doesn't, it just wasn't enough to really, you know, mitigate the damage that was coming out from this Doom. And he ends up falling. That is a solo kill for the Doom. He's level 6. Now he's got Doom available. That's, you know, one of those skills you can be aggressive with is over mid. Here's the ball lightning all the way forward. Westward, Arcane Curse, Sniper should drop, and there's the pop. Minus two for this Sniper. And uh, 
Augs does get the kill. So it's a, an aggressive kill. Again, these supports, these four, this 4-5 four for the Radiant side doing a really good job early on. Dyer's Still only level 4 is, is the Legion Commander. Attack. You compare that to the level 6 of this Doom, who uh, did use Doom of the Queen of Pain, but denied by SMMN. SMMN. So Deny comes out, phase boots picked up for this Doom. So again, it's just it's all about the chase, it's all about the scorched earth with the infernal blade. Really making it hard for anybody to stay nearby. And this is what I you know, this is okay. I understand using time walk to just take off a little bit of that damage. Level three, you're not really getting much distance, and this lane's getting harder and harder. He should not be here by himself. He definitely should not be. Because yeah, he uses the time walk, he gets a little bit of health back, but every infernal blade that comes out, level three, every eight seconds to the ten seconds of the time walk, is making this void struggle in your life. While everything's going right for the radiant, and ten minutes in, you take a look at where the Phantom Assassin is, who is just about finished with this battle fury already ahead by about 900 gold it, it just it's gonna get tough and phantom assassin like i said can really open up the map for both the doom as well as the storm and both the doom of the storm might even be looking to fight so you gotta make something happen for the dire i don't know if you have the luxury of sitting back as far as a stifling dagger is being used here by the phantom assassin now the two one tower shadow strike through into the phantom assassin with boy coming in he'll have himself the chronosphere to use with the mask of madness but the phantom strike away and there's the cast so he doesn't use it immediately stifling dagger comes out that'll slow him up now he's silent so the time walk won't even come through to get this chronosphere and he holds it a little bit too long i'll dig that So they missed an opportunity, I would say, especially with level 6 and the Queen of Pain. Maybe that came a little bit after that exchange, but still, you need to be getting these kills. You need to slow down the Radiant. They've taken a 1,000 net worth lead. Going Kaya, possibly into that Bloodstone. Meanwhile, Doom with the drums, just a blade mail and drums queued up. He's just looking for that speed. He's looking to just stay on your tail. Use that Inferno Blade to really mess with you. There it is. Time walk. The Chronosphere, Sonic Wave. Down goes the Storm, as will this Witch Doctor. So two kills for the Dire. That's a good rotation. But Maledic, Time Walk, and uh, not going to pop him. Just survives with about 36 health. And now over mid, Sniper gets the Silencer as well. So a couple of kills there. Legion, and scaring me in the jungle. Meanwhile, Infernal Blade with the Doom takes out the Disruptor, using it off cooldown just to get himself a solo kill. I guess he'll take that one. Three heroes go down over and beat him, which is a good exchange for the duck. Again, Phantom Assassin working on getting this Battle Fury with the Demon Edge. 500 gold away, 450. If you want to be uh, numerically correct. This should make my life easier. Dyer's bottom tower. So take a look. It's still radiant with the lead at the moment, which is nice. Uh, over top, Queen of Pain. This spray comes out. Shockwave through into the Queen of Pain. Here comes the silencer as well as the Witch Doctor. Time walk out, but now he's silenced with the drums. There's the speed they need to really try and catch up. Time walk available, but there's the Infernal Blade. Cast bouncing around the damage. Oof. The Maledict. Not going to be enough. Time walk, press the attack. Trying to keep this faceless void alive, and, and they do so. Dyer's Time walk level four, I believe. Attack. You know, it makes it easier for him to disengage and even engage to look for the Chronosphere, which he doesn't have for another 30 seconds. He needs to just try to farm, catch up to this Phantom Assassin, who uh, does in fact now have that battle fear going for the Desolator. Dyer's bottom problem. tower is under attack. Storm needs this Kaya. His form is slowed down immensely since a decent start over in mid. Sniper is really pulled away from the uh, Storm Spirit. He's going for the Dragon Lance as well. So we'll see if he's able to get that. There's the cast with the Maladay. All six is here for the Witch Doctor, but that's okay. 
ambitious for sure. I, I mean, the, the ulti was not used immediately following that stun, as well as the Maledict. There is a little bit of a delay as Queen of Pain needs to get away from this. Doesn't have blink for seven more seconds. Solo kill here for the Phantom Assassin. Assassinate. Is that enough? Courier, hello. Going right across the face. This Phantom Assassin. Oof. Thought he might use the Chronosphere, but don't want to risk it. He did have the uh, shrapnel ringing down, but again, miss that, and all of a sudden that's a little bit of trouble for you. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So, SMMN going for the Diffusal Blade has the Mask of Madness. I like this combination. Especially if his team does choose to be aggressive once he does have that defusal way to work with the Legion Commander, who is very far behind. Finally level 6, finally has the duel, needs blink, needs blade mount, needs the works to really try and make something happen. And it's just, it's hard. Very hard. Smoke from Doom. Troubles the face of Void. There's Ball Lightning and oh, Sonic Wave hitting on the two. But look at these heroes drop as Void goes down. Down goes the sniper. Queen of Pain, the duel is out onto the Doom. So first duel used, first duel victory. And it's a three for one buyback from the Queen of Pain to try and queen, clean something up. Link, Scream, Shadow Strike. Oh, damn. Overwhelming odds a little bit late. I thought, I thought he went back to base. Okay. I, I thought he went back to base. I was like, all right, silencer's out. Worthy oh. tribute. 3,000 net worth lead here for the Radiant. Kaya's finally picked up for the Storm Spirit. Should be going into the Bloodstone next. Meanwhile, the Phantom Assassin, of course, has picked up that Blightstone, going for the, de the Desolator. Uh, about 150 gold away from that first Mithril Hammer, going to the second Mithril Hammer. Uh, obviously, afterwards, finish off that Desolator, which is too much time in the battle fury. If he were to be in lane, this would be a little bit faster, but he is far from the jungle, so... Radiant's top tower is gold, under attack. not as good. Back into the Static Storm. Not gonna be enough damage. Not really much of a follow-up here, either. Assassinate. Avoided. Nicely done with the ball lightning. Stays alive. So, maybe Radiant not being as aggressive as I thought they would. Yeah, they were over mid with that smoke, but I thought they would really just jump down the throats of the dire side. And, and they're kind of allowing them to farm. A spot that I don't know if the Radiant really want to be in. Queen of Pain, obviously, uh, you know, not getting a lot of farm being in this four position. Sniper over mid, now with the Dragon Lance. Not crazy farmed as uh, he's fallen behind the Storm and the Doom recently. And Doom is who's been farming really well. He's got the drums, blade mail, phase boots. He's got the speed to stay up with you. When that Doom is off cooldown, he's going to be chasing you heavily. Pops the blade mail. But he does have Doom. And he does have Doom with the Witch Doctor, but Radiant wisely Star. enough, Void out of there. And actually, a scan comes out from the Radiant right on the Queen of Pain as well as the Void. So, they get scanned up. Smoke comes out, not under Ward Vision, as the Wards are very defensive from the Dire uh, on their end of the river. Very defensive, actually. There's one over mid, one here in a Ward spot that would be offensive for Radiant. And then one here on the river over towards the bottom rune again. So it's just very defensive in terms of dire runes or dire wards. Radiant don't find themselves anything in terms of defensive wards. They're not going to see the smoke. And here's the time walk over with the Chronosphere. Static Storm even laid down. Look at the kill. Maybe Phantom Assassin thinks about going in on this. The silence up slowed up is the face of Void. But again, he has that time walk once he's not silent. So it's a hard kill to try and go get. And ooh. This little crit there comes out. Double Dyer's damage. Picked up by the sniper. So you definitely can't fight into this now. Unless you clean up that sniper real quick. But luckily enough for this uh for this storm, he doesn't have the bloodstone yet. Oh, silence comes out and there's a kill for the void. Doom is Dyer's out, but the deny is there is from the Queen of Pain. 
total silence. Dyer, Trying to maybe keep scattered. this Doom alive, but he falls. Dyer doing a good job of playing around an aggressive lineup of the Radiant. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. So, I'll dig that. About 19 minutes in here. You take a look at the net worth. It was about 4,000 for the Radiant. As well as the experience, Radiant's but pulling back right now attack. is the Dire. And really needing to farm up, I would say get this Bloodstone is the Storm. You take a look at the Phantom Dyer's Assassin. Has just attack. about enough gold here for the Radiant's Desolator. Has when, they, when they finally lose this mid-tier one, and actually the mid-tier one for the Dire is the Santa. So there it is, Dyer's that's Desolator. Has been denied. Top tower, Ooh, going for the void, and where the time lock will be, there's the ball lightning even further forward, the time dilation onto both these heroes, slowing them up, first and bash, there's the overwhelming odds onto the storm spirit, disengaging is the dire, now they've got the sniper, they look to maybe find the positioning and re-engage, shrine, not available, looking for the vision, a glimpse, storm, staying a little bit too late, there's the Glim Static Storm, and this is trouble. Assassinate comes through, gets the kill. Cast bouncing on three, but Storm overstaying his welcome. And approach with the Radiant. Get out of town before the Chronosphere comes in. And they do have to ditch this plan. And Assassin out of there, but still not out of harm's way. He's coming in. Chronosphere on two. They know they're coming in nearby. Overwhelming odds. There's the kinetic field. Down goes the Phantom Assassin. Two onto the Doom. They'll take out two more. Three cores gone on the Radiant Dire. Playing this perfectly. And Radiant just sloppy. Very sloppy, in my opinion. That could be way cleaner. You know that the Dyer are nearby to go for that Roche to not even get away from that mid lane. It's just greedy. So, Roshan, the Aegis, they'll be going the way of the Dyer. Hit scans there from Radiant. You know they're going to finish off this Roche. And there it is. He's picked up the Sniper and the lead. First time here for the Dyer. All game. That was more than under a thousand. Stupendous. Blade mail for the Queen of Pain with the Tome. Did an all right job in this four position. Nothing to really write home about, but has been positioned uh, quite well. Legion Commander catching up in a way that is definitely necessary with the two two dual wins, and now at this. Blink Dagger, and then need everything he can to really try and pull it. Again, Lucky Storm doesn't have this Bloodstone. Worthy tribute. So, Smoke. Dyer's Ready for the Queen of Pain. Swaps attack. it out from the chainmail. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Let's see what they want to go for. Right in lane. They're gonna Radiant smoke up. They'll be behind fortified. this faceless void who has Chronosphere up in eight. So they'll pressure this tier one over bottom. The rotation coming up from the Radiant is exactly what Dyer wants, but this is a smoked up Radiant. Smoke breaks onto the Witch Doctor. There's the cast. This is time lock. Oh, silence comes out, so you no longer have that Chronosphere. That's gonna be the OT dropped out by the Witch Doctor. Now they no longer have the Chronosphere. Press the attack on the Queen of Pain, but they've taken out what they need in the Faceless Void and hold the Tier 1 tower over bottom. The global Silence used, and that's going to be used in a way that benefits the Radiant, not just defensively. They used offensively what well, seems like the first time in a while, and they do end up getting a kill on the Void. But is it enough? Dyer is, is set attack. here to try and defend. Midas picked up by the silencer, so he's looking towards the lake. Point. Here I am. Just looking to farm up and go for the four staff. Maybe get a rod of Atos if he can, if that's attack. what his plan is. Dyer's Actually going sore first, fortified. okay.
Kyle's in that we've been a little bit back in for the Radiant's last five or so tower. minutes. Is that? That was Doom Muse. Yeah, that was Doom Muse onto the face of Void. Ball lightning over. Void dead again. Wow. Okay, quick kill over there. And Void dropping, falling for the second consecutive time. Not going to be able to find this Manta style. It doesn't look like wait for now, but without this Void, they do not have the initiation of the Cronus here. So they might need to really take a good team fight. They do have Duel to work with with the Blink, but... The follow-up to that is, yes, the Sonic Wave as well as the Assassinate, Static Storm, but that is a lot to be used on a dual victim. And Glimpse, Shrapnel for the duel, Blink a little bit short, Cycling Dagger will hold him from getting the duel, but overwhelming odds will still get the kill for the Legion Commander, something that uh, they're okay with. Pushing over top is the duel. Rotation from the Legion Commander comes out. About even in terms of net worth. Ball lightning over. Here we go. On to the sniper, but the static storm plays perfectly on the storm. That's going to go wrong. Phantom Assassin in a little bit of trouble trying to survive here. Get a kill onto the sniper or the faceless void. They end up losing both the initiators on that attack. The disruptor and die. They're happy with the exchange. Might even find more overwhelming odds. First hit bad. There's the duel. There's the third. Dire. They are just playing the counter steps so well. This is... Whew. Wow. You just don't expect that. From a team that... I mean, I mean from an exchange, would say. That didn't involve Chronosphere. With a sniper sitting back. Still at the ages somehow. Still keep good for the Dire. Get the tier two over mid. They start pulling ahead in a lead of their own, which is something that's been rare for the dire side. Shadow Blade, Silver Edge for the sniper, which I like to, uh, of course, break that Phantom Assassin's blur, which is great. I mean, you break the blur, you get the kill a lot easier. This should make my life easier. And Phantom Assassin going for the BKB, so we'll see how quickly the BKB comes out. How the Phantom Assassin is going to be able to play with this. Still no Bloodstone here in the Storm. Um, honestly struggling in these last 10 minutes. Oh, the duel comes out. That's another kill. That's another duel win. And Legion now sitting here with 44 duels. And yet another kill. That would be defending in a chronosphere, which is not wise. Phantom Assassin doing the smart thing here, trying to trade. It comes out. No duel available for 24 Woo! That's a big crit. He's nearby. Blinks on forward. There's the time lock. Doom onto the void. Doom. Sorry to say, bud, but you're all by yourself. Phantom Assassin trying to go in. Blade Mail. Hello! Sonic Wave. That's going to help get the kill. Hurt yourself on Blade Mail. Two heroes again initiating from the Radiant. And two heroes dying for position four. And no Chronos here used again. So, Blade Mail's working wonder. And honestly. Queen of Pain landing the Sonic Wave, all you need to do. And, and, and it just looks good. It looks good for the Dire. They're only up a 1,000 net worth, but every exchange that's involved more than one hero on the Dire has, has been beneficial for them. Down here, picked up. There's the Blade Mail, Blink, Phase Boots, Legion. At the beginning of this game, I'm happy to admit that. But yeah, maybe it would never find those items, but... Uh, Hey, you really pulled through. Only with 8,500 net worth, that's not anything to write home about, but... I, I mean, Legion is fine with this. You have your essentials. You, you have what you need to win. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Nope. Every rank game, every professional game, every amateur league game, you Stupendous. play to win the game. And, uh, 
We played him. We just died with him. Sometimes if you're my teammates, uh, you play to lose. I don't know why. Sniping Dagger out on to the Sniper. They're working on this tier 3. You gotta make something happen. You gotta fight, but again, fighting into the Chronosphere. You don't have Doom, you don't have Global Silence. The word is placed. That's a good vision for the Radiant. They have to work with this. They have to see if they can find any of these pickups. But the problem is, initiating on someone other than the Void is going to result in a Chronosphere probably on top of you. Now they look for the Doom. There's the Chronosphere. And is this the right way to play it? You're looking for the Doom ulti drop down. There's the stun. Doom still not dead. They get the Void. They clean him up. He's down for 70 seconds. The Assassinate comes through. Here comes the Storm. And by that, I mean it's Booty Lizard as the Storm Spirit. They'll find two. And yeah, they end up eventually losing the Doom, but that is not the trade you want as the Dire at all. Booty Lizard finding his moment. Now with the Bloodstone, adds two charges to start. Aeon Disc is what he wants next. Never mind. KB is what he wants next. Now the push comes through from the, the Radiant. They've got double damage to work with on this Phantom Assassin. They should be able to at least get this tier 2. There it is. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. So I like the push from the Dyer better. Of course, for obvious reasons. Their team fight is nice at times. And now they've got this Silver Edge. I think it gets a little bit easier here for the Dyer until the, this... Uh, you know, Phantom Assassin maybe finds the next item and Storm. I would say the BKB is nice for the Phantom Assassin. You gotta play that wisely. It is at uh, 10 seconds. That's full BKB. Ready to go. So, I don't know. I, I like the Dyer's push. I like their, their team fight when everything's up and they use it right. If it's not used right, you don't get the Chronosphere, I would say, on the Phantom Assassin. You're probably not going to win the exchange. Now that I think about it, the BKB is just going to keep Phantom Assassin alive. And when you don't have that break, when the BKB is available for the PA, the PA can just go to town, especially with the storms involved and, you know, positioning correctly. So they set up over towards bottom. Smoked up. Chronosphere available. This is the Phantom Assassin. You open the Sonic Wave comes out. Chronosphere on the two. There comes the storm, but this is at least a kill on the Sonic. The BKB was popped here by the Phantom Assassin. Now gonna ball hitting back to Booty Lizard. This doom comes through onto this void, but he doesn't have Chronosphere. He's already used what he needed to use. The Global Silence comes through on the back lines. Dire is still nearby, but without the void, without his damage, I don't know if they want to continue on but the doom comes through. There's the static storm. And it's a little bit too aggressive by the Doom. And they end up losing too. So Dyer, they get the better I say of that exchange. Only by a little bit. Buyback did come out from the silencer. Negligible gold at that point. So now a storm down to 10 bloodstone charges, so. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Let's see what they're able to do. Looking for the basher is the Phantom Assassin. And uh, just quick disclaimer. Can you hear me scream? Yes. The they're down by one right now. Three to two in favor of Washington Capitals. Game two, the Stanley Cup. So in Roche is the Radiant HG here on the second Roche. From the Sphere, not available for 15, but he's got to be quick from the Radiant. There's the Shrapnel laid on top. They know that two are in there. Booty Lizard's going to make his way out. Twisted Kobe. And uh, press the attack. For the Witch Doctor into the trees position nicely, but not nicely enough. Sniper will get the kill, and now they're working with the Chronosphere. You gotta be careful. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Static Storm, not even gonna need the Chrono Sphere. There's the duel. That's gonna be two bolts with no buyback. He just seems to be the dyers now. She's for the sniper. Two dead still on the radiant. Things are certainly going the dire's way right now. He's take a look at the faceless boy. He's going for the BKB. He's got the mask commandus, man style but no finish off with that defusal blade. Everything's here for the Legion Commander now with the Shadow Blade. We'll see if he goes to the Silver Edge just to help out with that Venom Assassin. He, of course, got the Sil Silver Edge on the Sniper, who's got the Hurricane Pike going into the BKB. And then the Butterfly. Again, it is just a storm now down to six Bloodstone charges. Not something you want to see. Radiant's top tower is under so the attack, attack is on to the Tier 3. It up just a little bit. Dyer's Tier 3 tower again low. Again, Aegis on the void. Assassinate just flying through. And that's that level 20 talent. That cast time would be nice. Silence that comes through. It's stopping the dire at least for now. And look at the Phantom Assassin. Takes up the sniper. Not even get that cheese off. Chrono Sphere. That lands on too. It'll take out this Storm Spirit again, as well as the Witch Doctor. The duel through on the Phantom Assassin. Dead for 80 seconds. No buyback. BK is gonna wear out in just a moment as the bash comes out of the doom. Now they continue on for the shadow strike. There's the kill. Four dead on the radiant side. And dire. I do end up losing the disruptor as well as the sniper. There's the buyback coming out from the doom. Basically forced because you know they're gonna get this tier three tower. You gotta save face and try and clean up anybody to hold these racks, but age is still available for this faceless boy. Doom. They're gonna try and hold, but this is the melee racks over top gun. The infernal blade. Well the last word. Stop it, nothing. Back up in five. There's the man style as well as press the attack. You gotta be careful if you're doomed. The infernal blade as well as the damage from Augs. Time walk away. And Storm Spirit going in real deep here. Looking for the void. There's the duel. And there's the Aegis pop. Still gonna be in a little bit of trouble. He'll end up losing his life once again. Down for a minute. No buyback. There's the Aegis. This void up, the cast is gonna bounce nicely for them. They lose the Doom and just bought back 85 seconds on the sideline. Now it's four on three with Phantom Assassin just back up in a moment. We'll have the BKB in an exchange coming in soon. But the bash is on the Witch Doctor. This is insane. They end up getting that kill again. Here comes the Phantom Assassin once more. Does have this BKB to work with at nine seconds. Let's see if he's able to hold the base. Stifling Dagger press the attack. Buying back is the Witch Doctor. Three on four. Queen of Pain not going to buy back. Double damage for the Sniper to take this tier three over towards mid. Cast follows it up. Phantom Assassin with the BKB. Whoop! You gotta be kidding me! Eats through that void. Eats through the disruptor. That's the power of Phantom Assassin, baby. That's exactly what you want. You've lost your center axe top, you've lost the tier three mid. You gotta find something when they try to retreat, and that's exactly what you get with this Phantom Assassin. Dyer's middle tower. Try and save the game for this Radiant team. As now they're on the push, maybe just trying to pressure some buyback. Storm down to three bloodstone charges, BKB, it's a nine second. He's got some farm. He's his next item. This bloodstone's just not worth it to him anymore. Not worth that much. 108 dual damage here for this Legion. Absolutely wrecking the heroes of the Radiant when the duel is there. And for now, Radiant, they're going to cut their losses. Don't pressure the buybacks out. They back off. Phantom Assassin with the Basher. We'll see if the Abyssal Blade's up next in full. Sniper again going for the BKB. He's got 4,600 gold saved up. Smoke, five man. Coming out from the Dire. They want to finish this here and now. 
of 6,000 net worth, 7,000 going back and forth here on that number. Void working with the Chronosphere, it is level 3. Doesn't have that AoE, but he does have the time long distance and gonna show himself over by. So the push is on, they got the tier 3 over mid. Radiance we'll push over bottom. I mean, if they get this bottom set of racks as a tier 3, they can just move over mid. That's what they want to do. They want to find a nice chronosphere with the time lock. Well, the silence is supposed to be with the bell. Just be careful there. Just get with the blade now. That's going to come out on the storm sphere. They've got the go in. The golden silence comes out a little bit late. Now they look for the chronosphere. That's deep on the phantom assassin, but it's not going to be enough damage just yet. They've got the phantom coming on in. There's the sonic wave. Static storm dropped down onto nobody. It's the glimpse. The BKB is popped by the doom. Looking for someone. Dire, they do get this storm once again. But no Chronosphere, no Sonic Wave, no Duel, no Static Storm. Dire gonna try and do it again. 5v4. Three down to half health. I mean, this is the benefits of a sniper that's able to sit back. They gotta get in there. There's the blank with the Doom. Infernal Blade comes through, overwhelming on place down. That's the last word. Time walk in, gets the bash on the odds. The damage is out, but now he's got the Eulers, able to use himself up. Reaver goes down as well as the Doom, so it's gonna be a four on three. Trying to find anything. Phantom Assassin going off. With the Onto the sniper for the duel. Oh, no, are you kidding me? This is going to be Phantom Assassin winning the duel. Leads up the Legion Commander, but ends up falling. Has the buyback. He all is so sweet by this Witch Doctor. Four dead. And the Queen of Pain going to have to TP back to base. Witch Doctor and Silencer are the ones who hold it. That was insane. What was that damage there? Because Phantom Assassin locked into the duel. Gets stunned up. And then just... Boom! See you later. Phantom Assassin to me, and I don't know if you guys are going to get this reference, just it feels like Francis and God. At times, just has one punch power. You can come in there with a big crit and boom, knocked out of the game. It's insane. It's insane. Stupendous. So three heroes dead again. They don't force the buyback, but this net worth slowly coming back to the radiant side. Tire of let it go a little bit. They lost the sniper in that last exchange. They lose the void. Doom does drop, but he lays the doom in a nice spot. And what he's able to do is oop. Here's the Legion with the duel, but Storm pulling you in. Sniper's here. Sonic Wave cleans up. Woo! He's gone. 70 seconds. No buyback. Global Silence is very defensively. Static Storm BKB forced out. But you have no more mana. No way to leave. All oh, BKB. Damage doesn't matter. Down goes Booty Lizard. No more mana to ball lightning out of there. He gets cleaned up to dead on the rating. Just when you thought they were pulling it back. Everybody up for the die are ready to push once again. Pushing in top, pushing in mid. Bottom at about the tier two over on the dire side. Here they go for the racks. Lift comes through, let's see. Chronosphere is up, two is up. There's the Shadow Strike. Chronosphere lands on two! This man is a fucking man! And he's gonna come through. They'll get themselves the Witch Doctor. Doom's still dead for another 12 seconds. Math comes up and sword through. You can't go anywhere, Booty Lizard! See you later! Sparta, he ends up falling. So does the Queen of Pain. They're going to grab the Cetarax over mid. There is the Global Silence. Blink, Stomp, Infernal Blade, as well as the Doom out of the Void. They'll at least get themselves one on the registry. Looking for a second. Glimpse back, but again, that one punch. Francis Ngannou, knockout power of the Phantom Assassin. Clean up this Radiant's disruptor, but they do lose the Rax over mid. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower 
That's bottom tower falls. Bottom tier three falls. Excuse me. Meanwhile, Doom and Phantom has to, again, they just want to force buybacks. So they want to make this a really tiptoe match for the Radiant as they fall back on a couple of these. Or a tiptoe match for the Dire, excuse me. Assassinate, level 25 years of Phantom Assassin. Five back for the Queen of Pain. That's not enough for them to back up just yet. Maybe get a tier three. They can find it. There it is. There's the break. Uh-oh. Phantom Assassin in a little bit of trouble. The DKB pop by Woo. There's the Sonic Wave. The damage on to Woo. Trying to run away. TP. Just gets out. And so will Doom. So they don't force out any other buyback. Roche is up. Aegis cheese were fresher. Sentry. Sentry for the Radiant. They are setting up over mid. We'll be back up in a moment. There's the Shadow Blade coming through. From the Legion looking to set up nicely. Could find the Silencer. He's not too careful. Have the vision. Dyer has it. Yeah, they see two heroes. But there's the blink. There's the duel. Out of the storm. Dedicated. Zero bloodstone charges. I don't know when the last time I saw that was, but Thunder Strike down goes the Luke Doctor. Not yet, actually. The Chrono Spear comes down on so still alive for moment B. Press the attack. Cast bouncing around. Finally, he falls. They look over the Phantom Assassin. There's the Bant. They don't even kill it just yet, but with the Blade Mail and three heroes here. They do finally clean him up. The Ooh, Disruptor, but this cheese refresher shard for the Dire, and that means no Chrono Spear for your boy. S and an N. Pressure shard, double damage. I mean, the runes don't get much better than that. Four thousand net worth. This this game hasn't really gotten out of hand for any team. I mean, there it did. Ten thousand, nothing too uh, too awful. As you saw, the radiant warrior would bring it back, but this is gonna be met. Even then. Should be ready to fight soon. Chronos here up in 37. No mana for both Chronos. But they could just back off for now and from the Radiance back. reset and killed. go back. Radiance bottom shrine is under attack. Radiance courier died. I can't get vision on that. I don't know where it went down. Radiance bottom shrine has fallen. I don't know, I don't know what it had. I wish I could know. Worthy twist. I guess that's not allowed. So, Dyer again looking to pressure this bottom half set of racks. This should make my life easier. The melee racks is the only thing that stands. That was Megas and Tier 4s. Dyer ready. Chronosphere available, Radiance dual available, everything up. 9,000 net worth lead. Let's see. There's the fear. Shadow strike. Void. He's ready. But they know! They know! There's the doom! There's the global silence! Ball lighting across the bow of everybody on the dire! There's the duel! That comes through on the Storm Spirit. They finally caught the Aegis on the sniper. They don't kill the Storm Spirit just yet, but the ulti comes out from the Witch Doctor, doing a lot of damage to himself as the Blade Mallet is here from this Queen of Pain. They look over at the sniper who's got the BKB. The Sonic Wave hits three of these heroes with a clean up from the big hit from the Phantom Assassin! Chronos here falls up. The BKB is popped here. Silencer dead for 100 seconds, but they lose themselves to the Disruptor as well as the sniper's gonna be a three on three for now. Doom trying to run away, but he ends up falling. He's gonna fall to the Legion Commander back inside the base. There's the second Chronosphere. Buyback comes out. Witch Doctor gone. Phantom Assassin. Phantom Strike to where Doom wants to be. Blinks on forward, trying to go for something on the side of the Dire. The Blade Mail is gonna be popped by this Queen of Pain. And now they try to back off Time Walk. 
as well as the Legion just trying to get out. Stifling Dagger does hit. The chase is on here, folks. Radiant's man and there's the Blink Bullet looking for something. There's the Yules. Can he pick up the gem? He even picks up the gem. Are you kidding me? Why is your name low expectations? Just so you can easily Radiant's shatter the ceiling of what everybody thinks of you? Because that was amazing. You pick up the gem. That is a ballsy play. Meanwhile, the tier four is going to go down. They've got one more standing. Then the Ancient will be exposed. Time is money. That's used all over the place from the Radiant. Let's take a look at the buyback status. And they've got Silencer, and that's it. Damage here for the Queen of Pain. Picks up the haste as well. Tire up 10,000 net worth. Close to their biggest lead. Fifty minutes into this game, and they're working with almost megas. They don't have the Aegis, they don't have the Refresher Shard, Cheese is not there either, but Blink into the duel, this is on the Phantom Assassin, no buyback, gotta be careful, need to get out of there, Static Storm lead on top, down for two minutes, BKB is caught by the Doom, here comes the Storm, dead to the Doom. Storm will feel like he's going to be next. He's got no damage to really help out this Radiant side. And just two bees away. Witch Doctor trying to get out. But they've got the gem. They've got the kill. Three heroes dead. No buyback on the Radiant. They even look for the Silencer. Shadow Strike comes through. The Yule's onto the Queen of Pain. Creeps hitting away at this tier four. They go in deep. They've got the Sonic Wave. Storm trying to do all he can. But really, it's not on enough as the Chronosphere comes out. Now he's going to grab the Chronosphere and ball lightning back to the ground. So he drops buyback from the Silencer, gets the kill on the Void. Queen of Pain staying in not too long. The buyback comes out for the Void. He is exposed. And this should be the game for the Dire. And it will be. Another kill on the Silencer, and that's a way to end it. Dyer gets the win. Still control victory. Nicely done. So 53 to 34, not bad.